Zombie Popcorn, the official podcast of MarsCon 2012. Hanging with the drunk guest of honor. Saturday, January 14th. Auto orange. Thank you. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hey, uh, so it's Saturday at the Con, and this is... Saturday at the Con. Mike Candlewall, the drunk guest of honor, the, the master of ceremonies. They call me the Toastmaster, but I like the drunk guest master. of honor better. Right on. But don't quote me on that. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> well, um, so I've been, I want, I want to, I've been waiting all day to hear a toast. I need a toast. All right, this is to zombie popcorn. Raise your glasses out there in TV land. Zombie popcorn. I thought you were supposed to like, say a rhyme or something. I'm not a, a limerick, limericist, yeah. a limericist. So what does it mean to be the Toastmaster what are your duties? for Mars Con? My duties apparently are to drink a lot at the convention and uh, to keep on hanging out. I hear that's a good gig if you can get it. It's a great gig. <laughs> I, had to, I had to earn my stripes. I, I, studied, I studied under legendary drinker Robin Welch, who's a, a classical guitarist in the area. He uh, put a fixture at local conventions for a long time, and uh, um, uh, he taught me all the ropes. So is there any any any? So I had a I had a raging headache this morning, and I'm thinking that I did something last night yeah, that was a rookie drink, mistake. Did you drink different kinds of drinks? I did. I did. See, I I've learned that you just got to stick with one thing. So I just for me it's gin and tonics this weekend, all weekend only gin and tonics. But did you see the videos he made while he was drunk last night? I, I didn't. I bet they're awesome because pain often leads to artistic creation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, no videos, Jason. Yes, videos. That's all right. So, yeah, the, the MarsCon has uh, been a special place for me because uh, I've, I've been able to sort of hang out with people I haven't seen in a long time. And I used to be really involved in the convention circuit when I was a teenager. And I knew all these folks when I was a kid. Hey, right on. And I came back here and I just drink a lot. <laughs> Which changed. In what way? Oh, yeah. Cause when I was 13, I drank uh, different drinks. I don't know. All right, right on. All right, well, then um – We'll see you around. No, 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 no more Wait, questions? I, uh, we got questions. Oh, I, got, I got some. I, 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 got, I got answers. That. That's all I know. <laughs> He's like, now I'm here. I'm, gonna I'm here. <laughs> it's a gin and tonic. Hello. Say hello. Hello, gin and tonic. How are you? What's up? Questions? You had a question. I had a question. About last uh, uh, yeah. So what is the best thing that you've seen at MarsCon? How many years have you been Toastmaster? I've been, I've been uh, Toastmaster, I think, three or four years now. Yeah. Um, it started because uh, a few years ago I um, was drinking some scotch in the hot tub. And, here? Uh, yeah, here. I think it was here. And I uh, had a good time. What I remember is drinking scotch in the hot tub and waking up the next morning with my, uh, my hand cut open. I don't know how that – there's the scar right there. Oh, nice. I'm not it's... sure how that happened. But apparently I was hanging out for six or seven more hours after the hot tub incident, running around. And I was told by Robin the next day that I had actually taken the – I, I had taken the mantle of Con drunk away from him. <laughs> but then that night he took it back. So I don't know how that worked. But then they – a couple years later they said, hey, why don't you just be the uh, Toastmaster? I'm like, I'm in. So outside of bleeding all over the hotel, um, that was a long what's, time what's ago. the what's I was the, a kid. <laughs> your kid. That's a kid. What's the most bizarre thing you've experienced yet? You know, I don't really think anything's bizarre here. I think it's all what's pretty. What's your normal. favorite thing? My favorite thing is actually hanging out in the lobby, having a drink, and talking to people as they come by. I mean, you know, you, you hang out in the lobby here, you, you see everyone you know in, in an hour. They all come by eventually. Um, I really enjoy the open mic that we did. People get a chance to sort of do what they want to do and sing a song or do a skit or say some jokes. Um, I think it's uh, this convention is unique in that people don't really. I mean, there's you know there's, there's panels and guests and things, but here people are here to have a good time and relax and see old friends. I like that. When people ask me what what is MarsCon, because this is my second year here, um, I say it's it's the most unique family because everybody here is having a good time. You sure. Will, you will never see anybody who's not having a good time. It's true. And who's not afraid to do what they're doing, whether it's you know cosplay, whether it's you know doing, doing the panel. Um, do, do you find that is true? Do you feel like there's like this commonality between people there? I think people uh, come here because they wanted to sort of relax and and uh, be themselves and have a good time. I agree. Yeah. Um, you know, people wear a costume or play a game or go to panels or just 
Our drink. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, tonight's a good night for you guys to be here on the Zombie Popcorn broadcast because three or four really good parties are tonight. The, the Rocky Horror uh, kids are doing a party right next to my room here, 103, and it'll be just a fun time the whole night. And then uh, room 117 is the endless party, the Cross Time Saloon. I think Bob visited that last night. Right? Last night. <laughs> and then I think up on the second floor is a couple parties. Uh, a couple of their conventions are throwing, like, you know, parties for their convention. And if you, if you come here on a budget, it's a great con because the con suite will feed you and the parties will, will drink you. Excellent. That's why it's the best one in Virginia. It really is. Someone just walked into my room. <laughs> 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 hey, what's up? Hey. So, um, <laughs> I, I, I feel like there's more questions and more answers that could be told. Are you going to edit all this? And no, this is it. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> this is it. Like, you just keep, if I keep on talking, it'll, just, just, it'll, be, okay, it'll be broadcast. Give us answers and we'll, we'll okay. form the questions. Um, the answer is vampire girls often have that kind of effect on people. What's the question? So how do you get herpes? At <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, the, the, the answer is um, sometimes hotel rooms can't handle that much people. That was what it was at that endless party last night. What, or, no, the answer, Chuck, is, or the question, Chuck, is how do you get security to come up to your hotel room at 3 o'clock in the morning? Well, did security get called to the endless party? This is the party floor. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, my room is the first room into the party floor because I didn't want to have to worry about people being shh, shh. No shushing. We should talk to her. She's like a big wig at this convention. Come over here. Come on over here. She's been very helpful for, you know. Oh, sure she has. Let's, let's ask her some questions. Let's do it. What is your favorite thing about MarsCon? Um, MarsCon is the people. Right. And then after that, it's the belly dancing, the music, and the people. <laughs> I like that. Yes. Yeah, belly dancing is a unique, a lot of interesting stuff at conventions. You know, if you notice, there's a lot of folk music, a lot of Irish and Scottish folk music. Filk. Filk? Yeah, Filk is, is, yes. is folk for, fan, for fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good stuff. Um, pirates were here earlier, I heard. The pirates yes. were here, yeah. Yes, they always come, and They're they jaunty. always have a good time. They're jaunty. Um, yeah, the good thing about Filks is that once you know them, and then you hear the songs that they were filked from, you kind of go, okay, I know what the real words mean. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So what's the best thing that you've seen at MarsCon? Probably be the steampunk Darth Vader helmet. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. And how many years have you done MarsCon? Uh, three or four. Three or four, she says. She loses count. Three or four. Yeah, I lose count. <laughs> What's the first convention you ever went to? Uh, PsyCon. Which one? Oh, geez, I don't know. <laughs> what, what year was it about? Uh, 93, 4, it was after I got out of high school. Okay. <laughs> cool. Well, let's give our listeners kind of an idea of what you do at MarsCon this year. Um, well, this year I was helping out with guest relations. Um, I also do a lot of running for people who need it. Oh, if, do you need something? Oh, sure, I'll go and get it. And uh, running back and forth, and I have a phone call that I need to take. Well, right, well, thank, thank you, you very, so much. Thank you. <laughs> So, yeah, you know, here's the thing about MarsCon. You, you're just, you stand in one place, and people you know will come by and talk to you. That's why I like it, because yeah. no matter where you are, you're always going to see a friend. It's true. Everybody loves to talk. We've walked down the hallway and just held out the microphone, and yeah. people have told us the story. And also, the Chanel's guy comes every two minutes. It's great. <laughs> How many times have you been here? Uh, once today. What about last night? No, I wasn't working last night. Well, how about tonight? What is your estimate for tonight? What's my estimate for tonight? Yeah. Um, lots of orders. Keep ordering, please. All right, Chanellis. Chanellis in, in the in, house. And get that 628-8000. <laughs> I don't know what it is here in Williamsburg, but you should check out Jerry Chanellis restaurant there. <laughs> Good stuff. So here's my question for you guys. You ever go to the Ghent Inn when it was still open? No. I I live in Ghent, but I haven't been there in much life. The Ghent Inn was the best place ever. It, that's, it's, the, it's T West now, right? Yeah, and here's my problem with that. They had the only liquor license in the state of Virginia that allowed them to serve alcohol without having any food. And if you were to just buy their license, you could have done that too. But yet Tortilla West put a restaurant in. You could put a restaurant anywhere. Next door put a restaurant. Why not just keep a bar for a bar? That's my criticism of that. Because you can't get nachos. Wow, that's crazy. How, why, did they, why, did they, why did they do that? Because they really wanted to open a restaurant, and they wanted to do it there. Which I understand the passion for that, having the food and everything. But at the same time... I just thought, a little baby crawling around. Uh, at the same time, I, oh no, 
I, I just thought it's, it's a unique bar. The only one in Virginia left that this was a bar. They had they had hard boiled eggs for thirty five cents, and everyone who like was a Ghent person hung out there and just had a good time. I'm bringing it back to against. We're not talking about Mars Con anymore, but for your future Ghent in podcast, this would be great stuff. The Ghent lore. Ghent lore. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I found a newspaper from 1971 recently and was, saw that the Narrow was playing like whatever movie they were playing. And Same one they're playing now. Probably, <laughs> it's a Wonderful Life. And uh, and like the the Norfolk was a porn theater and like it was, oh, wow. <laughs> it was like my like you know, Pony Express or something. But XXX. I'm just making stuff up now. <laughs> it's good stuff. People are like, whoa. That's why so, Bob works there now because. Even it roots to the porn industry. So the cool thing about uh, the MarsCon also is they have a lot of charitable work they do here. So uh, tonight at, nine, at 8 o'clock we'll be doing an auction um, to benefit the Humane Society. And all, people have donated things uh, to the auction. There's some good stuff. For instance, Star Trek Pest Dispensers. I'm going to go for that one. Um, There's some Monster Hive merch on there too. We had Aaron Fitzgerald on our show who does the voices of two of the characters. On oh, cool. Very cool. If you walk around tonight, you'll see a lot of parties, a lot of people doing unique stuff. That's where it all hangs out tonight. I do love MarsCon. Second year. No shortage of uniqueness. I love it. Everyone who's listening to this podcast should come next year. It'll be Martin Luther King King Jr.'s birthday weekend. Tell us your favorite thing about MarsCon. The parties. And you. I like getting to sleep. (laughs) Ah, sleep at MarsCon. Does that exist? (laughs) I slept for four hours last night. Did you? Yeah. He came in and just passed out. We should play the audio. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. How's it going, guys? What's up? Are you enjoying your stuff in Mars Con? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very much so. Awesome. All right, so, um, oh, look, the Cthulhu kind of thing. Oh, that's on awesome. There. Really? Okay, my mom knitted me a 24 foot long Doctor Who scarf when I was eight, 14 yes. years old. Sure. Uh, tell us what you have, where it came from, and why you have it. I have here a felted full head Cthulhu mask with bulging veins all over the head and red tulle which is supposed to be glowing red eyes. My mom knitted this for me. She isn't even a geek by nature. She's picked she's up very a, talented. She's picked up a little geekery from from me via osmosis, but mostly she likes to knit and she will knit almost any ridiculous thing if I can provide her with instructions. That is awesome. <laughs> Oh, please oh, do nice. that. That's even, even better. better. <laughs> I can't wear it very much because look at how heavy this felt is. But it's it awesome. Is it is very hot. It'll be great for skiing. I hope, <laughs> makes, I hope to make people crash into trees. That's the way the Cthulhu would want it. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you for talking to us. That's my, pretty my awesome. Mom also knitted me, my mom also knitted me a Mobius scarf and matching Klein hat. Wow. And she did not simply knit a long scarf and twist it and join the ends. That would be cheating. She used a circular needle and knitted it Mobius-wise. Wow. Yes. Your mom is cool. My mom can knit in four dimensions. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you so much. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> oh, now we're being offered cookies. Cookies. That's what I like about this place. This is the good stuff, eh? Cookies. I'm good. I'm okay, too. Th- thank you, though. So when I was 13 years old, I had my first kiss at a convention. Really? Yeah. Tell us about that. It was Gendocon at the ODU campus. Uh, I think Mr. Scott and Mr. Uh, Sulu and uh, Uhura were there. Really? And I had my, my Doctor Who costume my mom helped me make with the uh, 24-foot long scarf. And I met a girl who was into Doctor Who. And we, 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 we walked we walked <laughs> together with the scarf wrapped around both of our necks for a while. Awesome. And then we went to the, to the video show of like some Doctor Who episode. And I turned to her and said... You're prettier than Sarah Jane. And she planted one right on me. <laughs> and then the next day, I was freaked out. My first kiss, I didn't like how, I didn't play it cool. And so I, she invited me to go to something with her parents. And I was like, nah, man, that's cool. I'm going to do my own thing for a while. And she found some other guy. Yeah, the second like, Doctor Who costume. Wah, wah, wah. I was thwarted. <laughs> thwarted. She's from the Eastern Shore. That's an awesome story, though. I remember her name was Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, if you're listening, Sarah, there's you're still listening. a piece in his heart. Just like, I remember you. I lied to her. I told her I was 14 because she was 14. Yeah. So yeah, oh, I was where are you? 13. Yeah. yeah, I was six foot like four. So you could. So I could. <laughs> I could be any age you want me to be. I'm 18. I'm 25 years old. Uh, so I didn't. You know, I didn't want her to think I was a dweeb. So yeah. I said I was 14. You know, and 
So it started, apparently it started, works because you, you got a kiss. It's true. Yeah, French kiss and everything. It's great stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor you're Who. You're 13 years old. You're like, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Doctor Who changed your life in more Doctor ways Who than did more. change my life. That scarf is still in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, <laughs> usually Brad McMurrin borrows it nowadays. So that's awesome. Here's some some superheroes and things walking by, running, running, scampering, belly dancers. Belly dancers. Oh, even better. Well, that's a superhero in my book. <laughs> all right. Well, I, yeah, I'm boring you guys and no, your I'm listeners. Good. I'm sorry. No, not at all. Fun. Babbling. <laughs> that's all we do. We also. We <laughs> Well, I'm, like, uh, I'm waiting for somebody else to walk by so we can like grab them. I know. Well, we should just walk down and just, Let's just grab walk people. Down. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's see here. We'll find some good folks. So we're walking down the hallway in MarsCon right now, and we're looking Tethered for uh, to a recorder. We're looking for some people. They look like they're serious. We shouldn't stop them. All right. All right. Here, here, here. Here's some. That's uh, Jen, and and uh, Jessica, and uh, a guy whose name I escaped my head, Matt or something. And they're doing some 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 singing, some karaoke. Karaoke, it's good stuff, man. Karaoke's big here at MarsCon. It didn't used to be, you know. It started because I did the open mic. People started liking that, and they just added karaoke, and now it's a big festival of karaoke. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's on all day event. Karaoke, Mars MarsCon. Oh sure. Karaoke. Right, let's find some people. Here we go. Oh, you know who we should talk to? I'll tell you right now. Hey, where's Mr. Kiani? See you around. Get him out. Get him out of here. Oh, uh, outside. Right. Yeah, we're going outside now. And who is this? Who are we tracking this down? This is the uh, owner of the hotel. Hey. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Let's talk to her for a second. Let's do it. So tell me about your uh, your, your bloody visage. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Looks like Alice fell down the wrong hole. I got gotcha. you. So you're, you're Alice, Alice from Alice in Wonderland. You're all bloody. Alice in Zombieland. And, uh, and who, are you, uh, who are you? I'm Zombie Luigi. This is Mario's arm. Mar- <laughs> nice. That's nice. And, and, how, and how old are you guys? I'm 11. You're 11? And, and I'm not. Actually, 10. That's right. That's right. You're actually 10. So what is your favorite thing about MarsCon? Um, I love to see all the cool things that we have here and go around looking at different vendors and going to see different um, panels. I think it's really fun. What about you? Oh. Um, ditto. Yeah, exactly. Ditto, yes. And, and how many Mars cons have you been to? What? How many Mars cons have you been to? This is actually our first time. Okay, so welcome. So you're having a blast? Yes. This is our, our first time being to a convention. Okay. Any convention. Are you going to keep coming back? Oh. We can so we get big a picture nod. of you guys. <laughs> you guys squeeze together. Let's get a picture. Oh, yeah, do the zombies. Do, do zombies. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> awesome. All right, I'll do one happy. <laughs> All right, awesome. Awesome. Let me, let All me right. ask you a question. Were you at the waterside at the Books in the Park doing a zombie thing? Yes, I was. I remember you, and I, we took some pictures of you with um, one of, with the, some of the, someone from the Muse. It was, it was good. Thank you for that. Cool, thanks. What's your name? Laura. Laura, and your name? Seth. Seth. All right, you guys. Have Thank a good time. Sir. We'll see you later on. All right, come here. Uh, right. talk to you. All right. All right, this is Mr. Kiani. Mr. Kiani is the owner of the hotel and the manager of the hotel. Hold the microphone. We're going to interview you here. <laughs> so what is your? how many Mars Cons have been here? Six. Six. And what do you like about the convention? Everything. And what's your favorite, what's your favorite thing, though? Belly dance. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, so, you, so you, uh, you enjoy watching the Deserts of the Sand belly dancers? Yes. And um, what do you think of all the different people around here in costumes and stuff? Wonderful. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I gotta tell you, for people out there in TV land who don't know, I know it's a radio show, but whatever. <laughs> this guy is the best, most nice, kind uh, hotel owner you'll ever meet. He uh, bends over backwards for this, the people at this convention and uh, does a great job, and is very, Thank very hospitable. Thank you. You, you want any more comments? You want to say? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Thanks. All right. Outside. What are we doing? You want to go down this way? We can, sure. Let's do it. But he's a great guy, Mr. Keanu. He's. Yes. All, right. Hmm. All right, Bud Webster. That's who we should talk to. Let's talk to him. Bud Webster, 
we speak to you for one, one, one moment on the uh, the radio show here. Bud Webster has been a he's been a uh, take the microphone there. Thank you. Has been a guest and and huckster at conventions for fifty seven years. And that is the <laughs> correct term, huckster. That's right. So, what is a huckster? Um, somebody who attempts to relieve Joe Fan of his beer money before <laughs> he spends it on beer. It's for his own good. Because you're selling books and different things like that, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And so um, tell us a little bit about your uh, your favorite thing about MarsCon. Uh, the community, for one thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the people that are here. I like the kind of people that come here, whether I know them or not. There's always, uh, there's always something to talk with them about. Um, I like the fact that it's a very relaxed convention. There's not a lot of uh, – uh, there's not four or five different lines of programming – and there's not an incredible amount of, of shoving in the hallways. Right. It's all very laid back, and that's that's something I really, really enjoy. I, I agree with you. Um, now, tell me, uh, what's your favorite memory from MarsCon? Favorite memory from MarsCon? Yeah. Oh, golly. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. I think it has, has to do with the uh, scary guy. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, one year, uh, a number of years ago, I was playing win, lose, or draw. I played that last night, and I lost. Right, yes. <laughs> well, um, the title in this particular case was the title of a book. Okay. And it was a very long title. Right. And the guy counted out very carefully all of the little dashes on the line, and then he looked at his piece of paper, and he looked at the board, and he looked at a little piece of paper, and then he drew a heart on one of the dashes. And immediately I realized it's the beast that shouted love at the heart of the world. Because what else could it possibly be? Right. A title that long with a heart in it? Yeah, exactly. It's be the beast that shouted love at the heart of the world. And I said that, and they just stared at me. And that was when they bestowed upon me the sobriquet of scary guy. <laughs> You're so scary smart on titles. Well, you, you, know, you, you, you probably are associated with almost every book out there, so... You've read them all, or you, oh, you well, sell them I've read all, a or a lot of them. The ones I haven't read, Mary has. So. There you go. Exactly. Well, cool. Thank you very much. You're let's, certainly well, welcome. Let's get the let's get this dude in here. Let's do it. Where is he? I sneezed on that. By the way. That's all right. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll save his souvenir. We like to call him Red. We do. <laughs> <laughs> this is a man uh, who has uh, run MarsCon in the past, and now is in charge of the Huckster Room. I am. We're, uh, we're, we're doing a little interview here. Okay. Am I on camera or just on? Just on uh, audio okay. as a podcast. Yeah. All right. So tell us your favorite thing about running a MarsCon in the past. Uh, running a MarsCon in the past? Sunday about 4 o'clock. <laughs> the dead dog party. Talk, talk about the, the dead dog party. Oh, we, we haven't really had dead dog parties here. Really? Uh, we had one, I think, two years ago. Okay. For the most part, um, I'm just happy to pack everything up and go home. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is a dead dog party? The dead dog party is where uh, uh, it, 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 it's a long... It's an old, older tradition, really, where everything that was left in the con suite, everybody who's on the con staff sits around Sunday evening until the wee hours sometimes, finishing off the food. And, it, it, the, tr- and the drinks. And the drinks. I yeah. was going to say, it, it dates more back to the days when uh, cons had beer in the con suite. So uh, uh, you don't see that much anymore. So it's not Now we have beer everywhere else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> MarsCon is different because um, I guess around 15 years ago, Virginia really started cracking down on things like conventions having beer in their public suites. Mm. So uh, you stopped seeing it at conventions. It might, maybe it wasn't just Virginia. Maybe it was all over the country. Could be, yeah. um, but that's when you started to see these proliferation of room parties because that, that's a private party. And you can have as much beer as you want in there. So, Bob, what's your, what's your favorite thing this year about this MarsCon? Oh, yeah, always it's the room parties. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's what I always look forward to, although, although we have quite the slate of programming this year. It's true. Um, and increasingly, it used to be all, all MarsCon was about was the room parties, it's practically. True. Mm-hmm. Now it's uh, now we have so, so much programming. We have real guests um, from other parts of the country, not just local people. And it's just grown. It's like we're a real con, but we still have lots of room parties. And you and I will be doing the, uh, the charity auction later. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And um, what... Do you think you're, besides the dead dog party and leaving leaving the convention, over the past, what, this is what, the 25th Mars Con or something? Something like that. Yeah. What's your favorite memory from any of them? 
Oh, it's just meeting people. My favorite memory was meeting Catherine. Um, but your, your, yeah, well, you know, my, my girlfriend. Um, excellent. But um, yeah, it's it Mars. It's about people. You see people at cons, any con, that uh, you, you you don't see elsewhere. And when you do several cons, it's like each con you go to, you have your own group of people that you see only at that con. Right. So that's that to me. Yeah, is, I agree with you. That to me is the the best thing about any convention, and especially for Mars Con because. Running it is, you know, I'm a higher profile, it seems like. When you're involved with the staff, mm-hmm. you're higher profile. So everybody comes, you know, I, sometimes I'll be walking down the hallway trying to go to the bathroom, and I get stopped by five people who I want to talk to. Sure. And I just have to give them this perfunctory, um, hey, good to see you. I'm going to pee. Uh, <laughs> Can I come with you? I'll be back. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's there's never a lack of, of people to, to hang out with and do things with and that to me is what cons are all about really. so speaking of room parties last night you and i were hanging out at about four in the morning uh-huh. um i i went to bed at four thirty. you were still up hanging out not not too too much later after that i Tell me what, dragged myself what happened after i left i want to know the secrets the secrets of the con uh the, there's there's fewer and fewer people the later it gets <laughs> but there's still i mean when i went to bed i still passed a couple of knots of people yeah so, I did too. Well, Jack was Jack at the endless time cross time party was still holding court in the. Yeah, uh, you, you think he should have coffee in there as late as he runs that thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I, I've uh, I, I I think these things go even later than than I do, which is amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank hey, you. Thanks for your time. You guys uh, keep on going. Or? Was that? You want to keep on going? Yeah, I'm ha- I was fun. You should talk to. Let's do it. Oh, okay. What's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Definitely. Yeah, Thank you. Smitty. Let's talk about the art room. Let's do it. Okay. It's your first year running the art show? Yes, it is. Say your, your name real quick. Sorry. Amy Smith. What's your Otherwise known as Smitty. So tell me, uh, how's it been running the art room for the first time? Um, it's been quite an experience. Fortunately, I've had some really good help and... and cool. Is this why... Uh, um, have people been bidding on the art a lot, or...? Yeah, um, and a lot of stuff's going for quick sale price, too. Okay, so, so you have two options. You could just buy it for a certain price, or you can go to auction. Right, and the auction is tomorrow at, at noon, noon mm-hmm. and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens I'll be there. helping auction that stuff off. So Excellent. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun time. Yeah, people really uh, – there's some good art in this show. There really is. We, we've got some talented people around here. Yeah, they're, all, they're all local, or where do the artists um, come from? The farthest one – well, I believe Teresa Mather, our um, our guest, our art, our artist guest of honor, is from Texas currently. I believe okay. um, we've got somebody from Florida, but we also have people who are real local, like Chesapeake and Goshen, and so yeah. How do you think this uh, compares to other art shows of other conventions you've been to? Um, this one seems a lot fuller than a lot that I've seen. Awesome, which is really cool. So. And, what, and what's the kind of range of stuff you might see in an art show at a convention? Um, $5 bookmarks and postcards all the way up to we've got a, a gorgeous um, pencil over here of a tree. And I think she's – I think that's got $3,000 as the price range on it. But wow. it's the original. Do you feel the economy has, affect, sorry, has, has affected people's purchasing power in the art show? Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going for the the less expensive prints and yeah. as opposed to the expensive originals. But it seems to be picking up from what I've heard. Cool. You have a question. Um, so, what's the um, criteria to get art in the Marscon Art Gallery? Um, a lot of the people who are here have shown in other art galleries, so they're known names. Um, for unknown folks, we usually ask that somebody submit. A couple of pictures, just so we could see their quality, that kind of thing. Do you have? Does it have to be sci-fi related or fantasy related? Yes, sci-fi or fantasy related, and uh, tastefully done. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Awesome. Thank you. So, where are we off to now? Let's uh, let's keep on walking down the main uh, hallway, and check out uh, who's in the programming room. Maybe let's do it. <laughs> walking out to the Is hallway. Anything happening down there? Is there anything? Oh, it's all, it's, 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 a, it's on break. We did. Let's talk to you. 
Oh you've, you've been to these conventions. For, uh, state your name uh, for the record. Uh, Bruce Blackston. All right, Bruce. Now, tell, tell, you've been to this convention for a very long time. Uh, pretty long, yes. And you've been yes. to other conventions S- like Since Cy-Con's the Fort and... Magruder Day. Yes, okay. I went to SciCon one time and won the costume contest in my... What was your costume? Uh, it was uh, early medieval, and I explained to everybody how I had spent years putting it together and mostly bartering it for blacksmith work. Are you and part of the SCA? No, I'm not. I'm a Marklander. Okay. Uh, Markland Medieval Mercenary Militia and Longship Company. Okay. What is SEA just for? Society, society of a Creative Anachronisms. Right. Other... The Scadians are a pretty good crew. Uh, we're a little more history-oriented, and we've got a small Viking ship we sail on the Chesapeake. Oh, awesome. Now, uh, when do you guys go out on the ship? Um, during the cruising season, we take her out about twice a month. Great. How do people find out about exactly. the ship and the tour? That's my question. Uh, <laughs> yes, they can They can usually uh, Google or longshipcompany.org on the computer. How much does it, do you charge a passenger? No, no. Actually, um, everybody goes out for free. Getting back might be negotiable, but you go I got out. You. you go out for free, but coming back is $1,000. <laughs> right, right. But, uh, no, they go out for free. We, we're always uh, looking for crew. So if you're able-bodied. Uh, you just you spend, want to be a passenger, not a crew member. Well, you spend time at the rowing bench because if you don't have people rowing, you don't go anywhere. Is there a person with a whip? Like, no. No, these on? are Vikings. They're all armed to the teeth. Okay. Take a whip to them and you're lunch. Big trouble. You're big trouble. What's your favorite thing about MarsCon in general? Favorite thing about MarsCon is the general relaxed atmosphere and also it's a lot of fun just working with and meeting all the people here. Yeah. It's really really a bunch of very creative people spending a lot of good time uh, together and hanging out. Uh, My children started coming to it. One of my friends uh, asked them to come to this, and I came, and I'd do Williamsburg, and I'd go antique shopping, and over the last 15 years or so, I've been sort of sucked in, and now I'm on panels, and I have uh, iron work and the art show and such. Very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I, I love the fact that there's a common ground between everybody we've talked to so far tonight. Everyone that said a great time, parties, hanging out with friends. It's just so relaxed. Everybody's respectful. It's just like. Uh, where's that? Where's my dancing? I don't know. I just see what is it? Oh, I, I, I don't know. We could, we could, we could, have, <laughs> we can consult the schedule. But I don't know, don't know where one is. I don't know. I think <laughs> we should go to the con suite. What do you think? Let's do it. All right. There he is, the greatest hotel owner in the history of the Yay. universe. Mr. Gowdy. Hey. Oh. There you go. I like it. Huh? We're just recording. Oh, there we go. So we're walking uh, up towards the elevator area, and uh, there's some more people in there. Just hang yeah. out. Drinking some gin and tonics, I think. So last year you were in charge Sean of... Sean Devereaux. Come over here. So Sean Devereaux of the... Uh, of, of the uh, pushers. Sean, this is Sean's first convention. Yes, yes, it is. Is it your first convention in general or first Mars Con? Uh, no, in fact, it was at uh, San Diego earlier, uh, okay. or in 2011. Okay. So this is your first, like, uh, fan convention? Yes. You're not a pro. Okay. So what is your impression so far? Uh, I'm having a good old time. Having a good old time. Good old time? Mainly because of the alcohol that you have uh, provided me, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm the drunk guest of honor, so that's how it works. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Is anyone, you, were you in the con suite, or were you in the Doctor Who panel? Or were, or I just, just came from uh, the Doctor Who panel, where there are a lot of bitter people. In bitter that, people? Right? Yeah, very bitter people. They're just uh, a lot of bitching going on. About Doctor Who? Yeah. Because it's not Tom Baker anymore? Uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, there's a lot of anger in that room right now. Okay. And have you seen uh, Brad and all that? Uh, I, th- I think uh, they're drinking in your room right now. Okay. I'm going to go join them. All right. Well, enjoy. Thank you very We're much. Gonna go to the concert and grab yourself. You gotten your Coke for your rum and Coke yet? Not yet. I'm doing that now. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Okay, we're so walking into the elevator now. Well, and I know it, Richie is here at the uh, convention. Awesome. Apparently. And, uh, hey. I love this elevator because there's a zombie of Christopher Walken hanging on the wall. It's true. All right, here we go. It's uh, yeah. the elevator. The elevator of Mars Con with Christopher okay. Walken. Christopher Walken. Floor number three. Yes, please. Taking my signs down. It's over. We're doing I think our, uh, you turned off. What? Testing oh, one, two, three. So here you'll see some party flyers. Cross Time Saloon, Endless Party, Room 114. See Raven Con Party Saturday, Room 218. And of course, the big party is. There's Brad McMurrin. <laughs> Was there, is there, is there, is, Brad, is there pulled pork in the. Uh, no, no. We're looking more at some sort of noodles with meat sauce. I like that. Yeah. Sounds good. It's a, it's a Klingon proverb, you know. 
I like it. Good talk. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> that was Brad McMurrin there. I was hanging out. Getting Get eaten, by the, sauce. eaten by the elevator. Let's Look at the line here. Some sort of line that's going on here. Let's find out. We're going to jump the line. Let's do it. We're going to go in this way. We should get someone in line and see what their experience of being in line is. Let's do it. Let's put this one toward the back. I know. I see who we should talk to. They're, they're the most angry in the back. Chris. Chris, uh, have, a, have a microphone. Oh, all right. All right. Chris has been coming to these conventions for a few years, right? Yeah, yeah. What's your experience waiting in line for food at the con suite? Uh, it's kind of a normal thing. One should expect it. Okay. Yeah. And do you know what the food is tonight? Uh, I have heard that it is the infamous pasta bar. Oh, nice. Yeah. A whole bar of pasta. A whole bar yeah. of unbelievable pasta. Does that include alcohol? Is this the bar? <sighs> I wish it did, but I don't think so. Unless there's vodka sauce. If they've oh. got vodka sauce, then vodka? we're totally, we have every base covered. What's your favorite thing about MarsCon? My favorite thing about MarsCon? Um, uh, it's definitely uh, the people. It's, well, yeah, like that guy right there. See? Exactly. <laughs> favorite thing right there. Yeah. Doctor Who, uh, it's good stuff. Well, yeah, having multiple Doctor Whos uh, in the same place at the same time, probably predictable, um, but certainly at a con. And why do you come here every year? Why do I come here every year? Um, because there are, there are great people. There are people I've never met before right. that are cool to watch. And there are people like you where we've been seeing each other for years. Yeah, and absolutely. Yeah, it's local. Mm-hmm. Um, we all kind of grew up here. And it, it's, it's comfortable enough to – it's small enough to be comfortable, but it's big enough to be awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I think it's small enough, big enough to be awesome is a great way to say it. Yeah. Well, it's it's a simplification, but you know we're we're that's that's where it's at. So. Pretty cool. Are we gonna, we're going to sneak into the concert and see what people have to All say right. about the, the food they're eating. Let's find out what they like it. Let's find out. Let's find out. All right, I hear we have somebody out in the hallway really enjoying the food. I see them eating it. All right, There's definitely Turn left noodles. right here. There we go. Excuse us. I see some satisfied diners ahead. I see them. Oh, look at them. I'll let you lead the way on this one. Here we go. Let's, let's go this way. Excuse me. We're now walking into the dining room of MarsCon. So how are you enjoying your food at MarsCon? <laughs> She's As currently she enjoying it and will not speak to us. How are you enjoying your food at MarsCon? It's spicy. I was chewing very loudly. You say it's spicy. That was spicy. Yeah. The wings? Yeah. yeah. So um, what, do, what do you come to MarsCon for? What's the thing you are looking forward to the most about MarsCon? Eating food? <laughs> um, gosh. I just like to come see my friends. Yeah. Friendship. And yeah. killing zombies, apparently. Yeah, see, see the people that I see every year. And uh, I think the best thing about it is, you know, when I'm in the real world, I have to be a geek in the real world, and I feel very kind of isolated and alone. And when I'm at MarsCon, I'm with my people. Exactly. Okay. So what do you do for MarsCon? What do I do for MarsCon? Uh, well, you're a staffer, right? Yeah. Um, I spend a lot of hours in registration, putting together uh, badges and signing people in and checking IDs and uh, doing whatever I was told. I uh, took all the boxes that came in on Thursday and staged them all to go to the various rooms they were going to and making sure all the food got put away, you know, and, and just kind of trying to keep Chris from going crazy. Great. How many, how many years have you uh, attended MarsCon or worked at? Um, I've come here every year since 2006, and for the last three years we brought the whole family. We do this as a family every year, and it's kind of our vacation, and it's uh, my oldest daughter's birthday always falls over MarsCon. Yeah, his Her birthday's today. Her name is Gwen, and she's 17. Well, happy birthday. Thanks very much. Well, I'll let you get back to your food. Thanks for talking to us. Let's try the main room and see who, Let's do people it. who are in the line. <laughs> Getting on okay. Up. Here we go. And this is where people, the food, people grab the food. Who do we got in here? Anyone interested? You want to get a server? What's that? You want to pass So you are the queen of MarsCon. Well, 
no, not technically. I am she who must be obeyed. She who must be obeyed. All right. And tonight, what's our menu? Tonight we have spaghetti with meat sauce or Alfredo sauce or tomato sauce. We have a little bit of chicken if you want with your Alfredo sauce. Oh, awesome. And we have salad and bread and wings and artichoke hearts. Would you, adventurous. Oh, awesome. Would you say this is typical for a convention or is it special to MarsCon? Oh, we're very much special to MarsCon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, some forks are being passed out. Thank so what's, you very much. what's your favorite thing about being at MarsCon? What's the best thing about being at MarsCon? Yeah. The food. That's right. Okay. And the people. Thank you so much. Thank you. The long line. There's a lot of food. Look at that oh, yeah. big bowl of salad. There's yeah, it is great. Several, several servers here. Everybody looks happy. I guess that is a given when there's food around. What's that? At MarsCon, if someone goes hungry... That's their fault. <laughs> they, they've done something uh, incredibly neglectful because these folks feed people really, really well. That's great. I, I agree. I mean, it's really a... Uh... So let's, let's talk real quick. Um, so we have all these people in here gathering food. There's a room next door where people can sit down and eat. And also this, this is catered by MarsCon. If you get a register, if you register and pay your if dues... If you register at MarsCon, you get pretty much every meal taken care of. Uh, there's sodas and waters all day and all night, uh, and there's all the room parties for your for your drinks. And that's pretty awesome. And everybody has smiles. Let's get out of right, people's way. Let's get out of everyone's <laughs> way. Looking for strong guys. That's what we run. All right. Huh? So we've seen a lot of things at MarsCon. Yes. And if you want to catch me later on uh, tonight, we'll, we can see some more stuff. All right, and sounds good. After Thanks. The for art auction will be, will be jumping around from party to party. We should do a party run. It'll be fun. It'll be awesome. You guys rock, first of all. <laughs> and the thanks for including me in your podcast. Yeah, thanks for doing this. This is awesome. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah.